Hello everyone, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So today I have a review and demo of this palette that Wet n Wild had recently come out with. This is a collaboration with Bretman Rock and this was something that I didn't expect to purchase but I'm so glad that I did. So I'm here to tell you guys the ins and outs of this palette but before we get into the review if you're new to my channel, welcome to the familia. My name is Alejandra. I'm an eyeshadow enthusiast with a Dasher Project pan. If that is something that interests you, subscribe, join us and now without further ado let's go on with the review all right you guys so this is the palette that i've been mentioning this is the wet n wild bretman rock collaboration palette this palette brings 15 eyeshadows with different textures and finishes to it it is i uh, believe 15 dollars on the wet n wild website it used to be sold on ulta it is no longer available at ulta but it is still available on the wet n wild website they have a whole collection with this he came out with a whole collection with brushes a highlighter lip glosses I think some uh, other eye products, but this is the only thing that I was really interested in. So I did purchase it off of the Wet n Wild website. And I also ended up getting a free bag at the time. They were doing some sort of promo where I ended up getting the big bag that came along with this one. So it comes with the sleeve, as you guys can see. The sleeve is exactly like the actual uh, thing. <laughs> so it looks exactly like the packaging so the only downside is if you throw away this sleeve you will not get the names of the actual eyeshadows on the back like this one has it but you do get them imprinted in here so here's what the palette looks like you guys can tell why i was drawn to this palette i did not buy this palette because i was supporting bretman i've never watched any of his videos nor do i follow him on any social media to even know who he is i've only known of him through pictures but that's about it the reason why i purchased this palette is because of the actual color story and i could tell that the textures of these eyeshadows were completely different from anything that i've tried from wet n wild i have not purchased a wet n wild palette trio anything since they discontinued their old formula i got rid of everything that was older i ended up gifting them to younger teenagers who could get use out of the palettes that i had and i never purchased any of their new palettes that they've recently come out with those 10 pan or 9 pan palettes no i don't own any of them i only own one wet n wild large palette and that was gifted to me by one of you guys so this is technically my very first purchase from wet n wild in a few years at this point so i'm very excited about this one as you guys can see, this is a brighter type of palette. You do get some subdued shadows in here. So before you think this is a palette that may not be for you due to the color, hold off until I get to that because there is some colors in here that I think are very doable and practical if you choose to want this palette and don't mind pops of shades if, you, if that's what you prefer. So in this palette, you're getting a few different finishes. You're getting mattes. You're getting satins, you're getting some mattes with glitter in them, and then you're getting these foiled metallic eyeshadows that are to die for. And there's one that has specific glitter in it. I'll get to in a second. Now, I did swatch all of these for you. I do apologize in the swatch video. I forgot to swatch the brown one, but it's a brown shade. I'm sure everyone knows what it is, and I'll describe each of them for you. Now, all of these he obviously named. Some of these names are a little eh. Like, there's they're meant to be for the jungle so you'll see like king of the jungle don't be lion liar and cheater big peacock energy so there's different names in here the brown one you know and it has eight poop on it am i gonna say the word you know what i mean so i do like the quality of this there's certain shadows in here that are a little bit lackluster for me personally but i think that the individual who doesn't like a foiled eyeshadow or too much on their eyes may enjoy them so as you guys can see from here you're getting four foiled eyeshadows you're getting one two three and four out of the four this green one's the only one that has glitter to it you will be, see the difference in this one it's noticeable this type of formula is so different from anything i've ever tried from wet n wild that's very very light these remind me of the texture of give me glow metallic-y foiled eyeshadows even when i touch over them and see the actual imprint in the actual eyeshadow reminds me of give me glow cosmetics eyeshadows like the actual metallic -y ones in their palettes that's what these remind me of and i'm not even going to kid with you guys this eyeshadow palette if i didn't 
know who made it, if I didn't see that it was Wet n Wild, if I didn't see that it was a collab, I honestly would have thought this was an indie brand who made this palette. No joke. I feel like Wet n Wild went from their powdery pigmented eyeshadows that remind me very much of Lorac eyeshadows, which I still love, to something like Juvia's Place eyeshadow formula. I think that the mattes are pigmented. You do have to build them up. They're more of a drier texture. And some of these, you do have to pack on and then blend out gently because you either get might get patchiness because they're a drier texture or they're not what you see on here and I'll get to that in a second. So for those that are into neutrals, let me explain to you guys which ones are the neutrals. So you're getting this brow bone shade right here which is completely matte. You're getting this shade right here which is not a metallic, it's more of a satin, very very subtle type of eyeshadow. You're getting your typical matte brown. You're getting a black that has glitter to it, but obviously you won't notice it when you put it on your eyes unless you wet it or pack it on. This one can be a wearable shade. And if you sheer out this one, it's more of an orange shade. This looks red, but it's an orange. Honestly, when you blend it out and not pack it on, you're getting a, a deeper type of rustic orange, which is beautiful on the eyes. I've worn every single eyeshadow on my eyes, with the exception of the black one. The black one I could really care less about. I know some people do care about a black and need a black. It's, it, swatching it, it is not the blackest black you're gonna get. It is a very sheer black, so you would have to build it up, or it's gonna be a subtle black. If you want that intense black, you're not gonna get it out of this palette. So I am wearing this eyeshadow palette on my eyes today, and I will share with you guys the demo of what I used. I do apologize, I thought I was recording at first, so you're gonna see the brown already on there. So I started out with Ape Poop, basically on my eyes. I put that in my crease, blend it out. You could tell that this is a warmer type of brown, not a cool type of brown. Then I went in with Feline Myself, which is that purple, beautiful purple. It packs on really well and it really stands out if you just pack it on and blend out gently. Then I went in with Prowl. Prowl is one of those metallic eyeshadows. I use my finger, I find that with my finger I get more of an intensity than I do with the brush, but you can use them with the brush, you're just gonna get more of a subtle look. Bear in mind, you will get fallout with all of the metallic shades. Then I also forgot that I did go on my lash line, lower lash line with Feline myself as well. Did my wing liner, my mas mascara, and my lashes, and this is a look that I have on today. I also put a colorful eyeliner on my waterline because I thought it would tie everything in together. With these metallics, you guys, you will get fallout. These are still powdery, but they're not as powdery as what I remember Wet n Wild to be. The metallics, you're gonna get fallout. <sighs> How do I explain this? Okay, so if you are packing on one of these metallics, any of these four, the more you pack on with your finger, the more fallout you're gonna get. So if you're gonna just swirl in and then just swipe it across, you're not gonna get as much fallout as if you continue to keep packing on your eyes. I noticed that I would get fallout under here, under my eyes. The worst culprit of that is this green one, even though it is stunning. You will need a glitter glue, you need to wet it, because this has glitter in it, and you will get it everywhere. I'm not even kidding you guys. You'll get it everywhere, and it's m very micro shimmers that you'll get. So when you shift your eye, you're gonna see a bunch of gold, because this has gold glitter to it. It is beautiful, and it stands out like nobody's business, but you will get that glitter fallout. The two satins in this palette don't pack so much of a punch, but they can be used as crease shades if you want. See how it's very soft shimmers? They're not as pigmented until you pack them on. You're gonna have to build those up if you really want to. But for those that want a subtle look, you're getting two of those. The majority of what's in here is matte, so if that's what you like, I would definitely say that this is something for you. This one is sheer, but it does show up on my eyes. This one, like I mentioned, looks like a red, but it's technically an orange on the eyes. This is a nice red, the purple is amazing, the pink I love, this green stands out. It is a beautiful palette. Overall, I was very, very happy with this palette. I'm glad that I got it. I'm glad that I was able to play around with it. If Wet n Wild continues to do this type of formula with these foiled, I'm gonna love it. As much as I get fallout with these, I don't mind that. You can just do your eyes first and then your foundation or put something under there to catch the fallout or use glitter glue or wet the uh, your brush to, to pick these up. You, there's ways around it, so I don't mind that. But compared to what I remember Wet n Wild to be, this is awesome. I love this one. I love the texture. I love that they went this direction. I enjoy this type of formula. This is fun for me. I love the color story. 
I love the different colors that they chose. I don't feel like this is a one trick pony type of palette. There's many, many mattes that I can use to draw up a really nice look. I could do all mattes if I want. I get those transition shades that if I don't want to have something bright on my, as a transition, I can have that. I have that matte brow bone. I have the black. I have enough for doing many, many looks with this palette and not feeling like I'm bored. I enjoyed every look. I loved every single look. There's some shadows that need a little bit more attention than others, but that's okay. If all what I am saying is something that you will enjoy, I think this is worth the $15. This is amazing for $15. I paid a lot more for something that is the same quality and paid overseas shipping from an indie brand. So I think this is really good. If Wet Wild continues to do palettes like this, I am on board 100%. This is a really good one. I enjoyed it. I had fun with this one. My favorite shade is this one. Liar and Cheater is just that gorgeous shade. I paired it with a bunch of pinks. It looks amazing. It's like a coppery red but it kind of takes the tones of what you put around it. So if you're more red, it's gonna look more burnt. If you put more pink, it's gonna look more pink. So it's really a pretty shade. I really, really like that shade. And if you're wondering about these two golds, this one is the one I'm wearing on my eyes, which is more of a deeper bronzy gold. And then this one's more of a bright yellow gold, as you can see. So you're getting a variety of shades where you can mix and match and come up with different shadows. So I definitely would say if you're into that, if what I said is something that you're looking for, you're going to love this palette. I really enjoyed it. I, again, I don't know anything about Bretman, but he did a really, really good job with this one. Went wild. Whatever they did with this palette, I hope that they continue to do it. I love the packaging. It's very bright. It caught my attention. I love the color story. It's just such a good, and for the price, it is awesome. So that is my review on this palette. I will leave it down below if you are interested in it. If you did purchase it, let me know in the comment section. Obviously, you can dupe this in your collection. I could have duped this in my collection, but you guys know I am an eyeshadow enthusiast and I love to try new things. And what while I came out with this and I figured, let me give it a shot and see what I think about it since it's been a few years since I've tried a Wet n Wild palette. So thank you again for all of your support. I'll put more videos right over here for your enjoyment. Until then, bye y'all.